Okay, today I'm going to test a co-worker's gold bracelet and see if it is really gold. She asked me to check it for her. So, haven't done this in a while. But here's my test kit. Uh, we got 10 carat acid. I know I should be wearing gloves, but... Uh, 14 carat, we have 18 carat, 22 carat, silver testing kit, and platinum. So, okay. I'm no expert and don't claim to be. All right, so now I'm gonna take the gold and I'm gonna make a little mark on here very gently. It don't have to be that big, but I wanna be able to see it or let y'all see it. Okay. All right, you can see the gold on the test plate surface. All right, I'm gonna start out with 10 karat acid. I'm gonna put that on there. Let's get that line out, see it better. Okay. So the 10 karat did not dissolve. So it is at least 10 karat. Okay. So now I'm going to take the 14 karat, put that on there. Okay, the 14 karat has not dissolved yet. Maybe just a little. So it's at least 10 carat up to 14 carat. Between 10 and 14 carat. Okay. I'm going to go 18 carat and I expect it to dissolve right away because it is, it is marked 10 carat. So I wouldn't think it would be 18 carat. Okay. So the 18 carat is dissolving. So there you have it. The gold chain bracelet is gold 10 carat at least 10 carat but not 18 carat <clears throat> now i do know that the hasp is most likely gold plated i put a magnet on it and it's slightly magnetic At least I did a minute ago. So I must say that's gold plated. The hasp is gold plated, but the bracelet is gold. There you have it.